Go ahead and put uh, pork chops on that, coffee on that, all kinds of good stuff. Pick it up. What I'm going to be doing in a couple minutes, it's really good, uh, made a really good metal. It's about, about $5, too expensive, so it's about $11. We got a chair from Goodwill, depending on where you're at. Goodwill is a great place to get these chairs, just because they're like... 10, 15, 25 dollars. A good will you get it for like six, seven dollars. What we're gonna be doing in the meantime, I'm gonna keep you updated on this just in case this doesn't go well. It should. I've been bushcrafting for uh, a while now. We're gonna come over here. I'm just gonna show you where we're gonna head. And then I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll, I'll update you. Also, I do carry these with me in case of emergency. Like I said, battery's dead. We're not sure how long we're gonna be here. Not sure what's going to happen in the meantime, so uh, I do have this sitting out just in case to go with us. These are great, um, starting fires, all kinds of stuff. Where'd you buy that one? I got this one at the dollar store. The Dollar Tree carries these for exactly one dollar. It's kerosene. It, it's kerosene with a wick. They also sell these cups. I love these things. <laughs> Since we're right here. Go ahead and show you a fungus that grows on here. As you know, when you sharpen your knife, when you sharpen it, it gets a bunch of uh, serrations on the blade. You can always tell a knife that's sharp because of the slight serrations. If you if you look at it very closely, you can see little bits. This is I haven't sharpened this in a little bit. I use a Smith and Wesson uh, sharpener. It's okay. But right here, you have a fungus that after you sharpen it. What you can do is you can go ahead and cut this in half. There's more of them laying around. You cut it so it, so it has a uh, so it has a flat surface, and it'll smooth out the blade. This isn't a good piece, but it'll smooth out the blade and sharpen it up just a little more. It's like a uh, it's like the ceramic piece on a sharpener. But if you can find these. That works, that works great too. So like I said, we're gonna come over here. Because we're limited in wood, as you know, it is still springtime, it is still snowing. Occasionally, it's supposed to be snow later today. There's a whole bunch of wood over here. Actually, this is a pretty good thing. It looks like uh, we have bushcraft around here that decided to create a reflector. There's some sort of it. this I have a uh, I have a handheld saw that I can go ahead and what are they doing? I just created a rock. It's just a it's a circle. Circle to keep the uh, sparks in things like that. But they look that looks like they got their whipping bread Myers too. But we're gonna go ahead and take all of this. So, looks like a fellow bushcrafter left this out here, stacked it nicely. Since we're in need of it, we're going to use it. We also have a fresh water supply right here. I, however, do not drink directly out of the water. I do use um, iodine. You can use liquid iodine, iodine tablets, all kinds of different things. This is a runoff of the main river, as you can see right there. If we do get into a food situation, because we, our rations are only for four days, though we're staying for two, we did plan for two extra days. Um, <clears throat> I'll throw a line in there. I do have fishing hooks with me. I have things. I didn't bring my bow and arrow, so there's not a lot of animals up here anyway. But uh, that's it for now. That's what we're going to do, and uh, I'll tell you guys how it goes. Bye.